and Deputy President William Ruto is warning those propagating political and personal interest in the push for constitutional changes to give priority to the needs of the people. Meanwhile, Migori County Deputy Governor Mahanga Mwita has defended his boss, Governor Kodo Bado, saying the 73 million shillings alleged to have been misappropriated will not affect operations at the county government. Deputy President William Ruto attended a church service at AIC Pipeline in Embakasi, South Nairobi, where he questioned the motive behind the push for a constitutional review. Ruto challenged the proponents of a constitutional review to prioritize the needs of Kenyans. Sisi wote tukiwa pamoja, roho ya ubinafsi isi tuingie, tujue ya kwamba yale tunafanya, yale tunapendekeza, yale tunatarajia isiwe ni mambo ya kibinafsi ya viongozi tujue Kenya kuna wa Kenya milioni 45 the dp says the covid-19 crisis had led to many kenyans suffering an issue he says needs urgent attention from the country's leadership and even as we go into the future we must carry the whole country as we make the decisions that we are going to make and i want to agree that we must move together ruto also assured parents that the government would only reopen learning institutions after extensive consultation with health experts mps allied to the deputy president demanded government officials implicated in the covid 19 fund scandal to resign from office people must now take what they told others to do they must take political responsibility. If you have been mentioned as having given illegal instructions, don't tell us like those who told us before that they would rather die than resign. Please leave public office. Meanwhile, Migori County Deputy Governor Mahanga Mwita has defended his boss, Governor Obado, saying the 73 million shillings in question was not substantial enough to dent the county government the kind of uh, uh, corruption figures that people talk about is not uh, uh, is not what uh, we are hearing that caused his arrest. We are yet to hear the, the figures that would, would really worry the people of Migori to the extent of imagining that that could have caused a development dent. Governor Obado and nine others, including his four children, were on Thursday charged with 28 counts of economic crimes, money laundering, and conflict of interest for fraudulently acquiring 73.4 million shillings from the county government of Migori. <laughs> and five former lawmakers from Mount Kenya region have reaffirmed their support for President Uhuru Kenyatta as the region's political kingpin. Led by former Moranga Senator Kembi Getora, the group says the region should not engage in early campaigns but should wait for President Kenyatta to give a political direction. The president has been preaching. Anybody who cares to listen to the president and will listen to him has said that the biggest legacy that he wants to leave is a united country, people talking in the same language, people saying the same thing, people with a common vision. And that is the vision for the future of our country. So I'm very proud to say that we had a very fruitful meeting and that we shall continue to, to perpetuate and to propagate these meetings so that we can reach more people and we can talk in one voice without being made to fear. People putting fear into us of who we are or what we stand for. Tunaunga mkono ngongozi wa rais mweshimua uhuru kenyata. Na wate ambao nafanya kazi nao. Kuanzia waziri wa afya, kuanzia wajimbo wa bunge ambao hata wengine walitengwa, ambao tunajua ilikuwa mikisirani kwa watu wengine ambao wana, walipendelea kutawala kwa kifua. Kunyakua uongozi, uongozi ya unyakuliwi, uongozi unapewana na maulana, anasema huyu ndiye, alafu sisi kama wazetu nasema natosha. Kevin Washira, Channel 1 News.